Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign in this game here. We're going to grab our... What is this? The first fleet is here? Uh, no, we just want the construction ship. Tell it to queue up both of these. We'll take the first fleet. Combine it with the second fleet. Take the beta fleet, which is sleeping. Tell it to kill whatever is in this fleet. Just go. Now this is a fully upgraded fleet, right? Totally upgraded. All, all 22 striker class corvettes. Level 4 missiles. They've all got small regenerative hull tissue. They do not have access to any shields. But assuming that they don't System survey complete. lose all of their HP then they can just kind of hang out and recover a small amount. What is it, like 5% per month? 0.5%. So 0.5% of 300. Hostile fleet engaged. Honestly, that's not very much, if I'm being honest. Hostile fleet engaged. Did our leader just die? He seems to be missing. Situation log updated. Both admirals are available. Yeah, he, I guess he got Situation knocked. Log updated. Got knocked off of his primary fleet, and just like decided to not be part of the fight anymore. Is that what just happened? Hostile fleet engaged. Starting to think the regenerative armor was not as good as the shields. A little too slow. I mean, think about it. 300 times 0, 0.0. It's 0.5 percent per month. So that's 300 times 0. 0.005. That's only 1.5 HP per month. That's really bad. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Situation log updated. Science ship needs to come on out here and survey this field. The colonizable one was here. We had a spare colony ship way the hell down here. with nothing to do. So we bring it all the way up to here. Good luck. Hostile fleet engaged. Admiral Ardvark has taken some losses. System survey complete. Losing those shields was a bad idea. Especially against beam beam weapons. We're taking way heavier losses. Situation log updated. Now there is the The first Pelagic Pelagic excursion. If I remember correctly, these guys were enlightened monarchy. They're about equivalent in power, but they're flying around with a thousand troops. So I guess we should maybe maybe be a little bit more cautious. Maybe we need some more military here. Okay, what are you up to? Got plenty of influence. Just coming out of here and expand our borders a bit. Our navy to combine. And this construction ship has built frontier outpost out here. Let's go. We just survey the star before we can actually do anything there. What is this? Oh, 
Honestian interstellar kingdom. It's so close to what I want. It, I don't like that. Come on over here. We have a science ship nearby. Martha Stewart is very busy with a bunch of nonsense down there. And this guy was the one that was going to come way the hell up there. Martha Stewart, I don't want you, I don't want you doing that. I want you to come up here. I need you to come up here and quickly survey this. Station under attack. I'm gonna I'm gonna update the uh, the Corvette again. We do have access to destroyers now, by the way. We should probably consider building some of those at some point. So we have opportunities for the flash bulwark or the shine bulwark. Do we want two small weapon slots or a single medium weapon slot? Two and two, two and two. I think we like the medium weapon slots. And then the faith breaker. Faith breaker slash hope breaker slash fortune breaker. Three small, two small, one medium, or one large weapon slot. I have no idea how you determine like, what's the appropriate design? Let's go with long range. We're missile users. Double missiles. And energy siphon. Hover over size icon to see detailed information. I just like the 100% the accuracy of these missiles. And down here, I think we throw in some, some deflectors. We're able to get one medium deflector works out. So we end up with 75 shields. I like this. It's the Pittsburgh class destroyer. Sounds good. Earth might be one of the only places that can actually build it. I'm not sure. We are already at the population cap here, so there's no reason to have more food. If anything, we should maybe scrap some food. We'll upgrade these two foods so that we can turn this one into the Center Religious Research Institute and get a bunch of extra science out of Earth. Meanwhile, on Earth's starport, even though we have access to destroyers, somewhere I mean, we researched the tech for it, but I don't remember actually having any planets that had a starport capable of doing that. Did this... That would be amazing if the sectors actually upgraded the starports well enough to, to be able to do that. And I don't think they did. It doesn't look like they did. Like, we still need starports in a lot of places. Let's go through and upgrade the Corvettes again as well. 
I want to go back to having not regenerative armor. We like the construction complete. It hey, pause the game there. We like the good. We like the missiles. Um. We want to have the level three that thing. We want that thing. That thing. That thing. And then I think we want the deflectors. It's not gonna let me go that far. Only one little bit of deflector, but it's better than. I think it's better than the the, the uh, regenerative whole armor. It recovers faster. It works better against different types of weapons. It's a little bit less one-dimensional, but um, it's sad though because we're researching uh, the cold fusion reactor, which is going to give us better better stuff. So we'll just end up needing to upgrade again soon, again in 15 months anyway. Oh well, that is what it is. You're waiting, hoping that Martha Stewart can survey the, the stars so that you can build a, an outpost just to kind of bully our way up into this general direction. Martha Stewart. She's on her way. She's got a long way to go. I suppose it's better than this guy, who coincidentally also still has the same job. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. So why don't you take over surveying, like, this system instead. Situation log updated. A side grade like this is not very expensive. Now, the battleship... ...doesn't show up in our list of ships. I don't think I have any control over how it's designed. I think it's just... ...like a special ship that we got... ...from doing that quest chain. We've got plenty of money. Let's go see if our any of our sectors could use the funding. Get these minimized. It'd be handy if there was a minimize all button. Uh, you've you've got some funding issues. I don't. Again, I still don't really know what they use their money on. Oh, I know what they use their money on. They use it to clear blockers. That's what they're doing. That's pretty much it, right? Come on, Martha Stewart. Need you to get over there, man. Come on, wool man. Stupid placid leviathans. Notice how we're slowly upgrading our ships here? This is where I wish we could do this better. We're gonna split the navy in half. You're still upgrading, right? We'll pause it. We'll select the bottom army. And even though these guys are upgrading in St. Yaragov, we'll find another adjacent system, like Seoul, which has a starport, and we'll go upgrade here. And it'll just be way faster than doing it in one starport. Upgrade time to, the upgrade times just take too long right now, I think. This is technically within our region, so I suppose while that's, this guy's waiting, we could bring him over here and build a couple mining stations. Evading hostile fleet.
Construction complete. Martha Stewart. Nope. Martha Stewart, I really need you to get over there. I'm gonna turn off your evasion. We're gonna risk it again. As long as you're quick, you should be safe. We upgraded your ship, you're fine. Get over there. Hostile fleet detected. Hostile fleet detected. And what are you doing, Mr. Construction Ship? You are hanging out waiting for upgrades. Waiting for a survey so that you can build a mining outpost. This has already been done. Why don't you just come over here and build one here? I don't care. I mean, I'm just going to start spending these damn points because I don't know what else to do with them. We can always get rid of them later. I figure it's better to spend the resource than to have them sitting around. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. And these ones are still preparing... complete. Preparing for upgrades. <laughs> we do have some more minerals here. Now, all of this space down here is, like, so close to being able to be added to one of these other sectors. Let's see, we've got this sector down here. This planet still needs to get analyzed. We've got the Albion sector here. Do you want to take control of that? Can I actually do that? I can. Sure. Cool. One less planet to worry about. I think I was managing that planet myself, but whatever. Just one less planet. So really all we're managing is Earth, St. Pomeroy. Which is in Alpha Centauri. Research complete. And then this one, which is way the hell down here, which again, I don't really want to manage on my own. Translate an ancient alien mural. I think we try to add this to San Fernando if it'll let us. So we're down to three sectors again, out of five. We control two planets on our own, which is fine. We have an empty module slot on Earth, since we did upgrade it again. A massive alien warband somehow managed to breach the reservation perimeter walls on Albion. The alien warriors spread out into the countryside and massacred many of our colonists before the host was finally driven back. That sucks. Uh, let's see. Earth has no edicts active. We should do, like, science. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. Martha Stewart's done her job. You were also then gonna go up to here to survey the star. So that we could put a frontier outpost if we end up with enough points. Blue laser. Observatory. Planet sensor range. Wow. More research alternatives. Jesus. Let's get the observatory. So, you go do your deal. There's a colony ship that's just been waiting here. Right?
Right in the center. Beautiful. Research complete. Cool. Reveals alien pets. We need those. Do 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 do. He's already doing the job that I gave him. Nope, he's doing a good job. Pretty happy with that. So that means that there should be another another construction ship. He's the one upgrading the mining outpost. And you are building a science thing, a frontier outpost there. We won't have the points to do one up here, but hey. At least we've expanded our borders up here a little bit. We do have some alien vessels here. I think let's just bring both fleets up that way. We'll combine them once they get there. I'm not going to worry about getting them merged up along the way. We will put System the other leader complete. involved. How is it possible? It says Admiral Ardvark is in charge of Beta. But then here it says that he's available. Makes sense. Construction complete. And since we've done something here... We've made this part of our space, we should analyze it. Same thing with anything up here that we can find. You should probably come and grab some of this energy. Dressel is also now all ours. Let's focus on the minerals. And let's do a little bit more management of our planets. Just make sure that they've got lots of lots of stuff. And then we militarize like really hard. You better run. Got some serious firepower. Apparently we have, yeah, just the two classes of ships. Hostile fleet engaged. With lots of missiles. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Now if I'm reading these this correct. Situation log updated. Captain Malcolm, the commanding officer, served with distinction. Does that mean I think we just picked up a free admiral? Yeah, we did. Admiral Malik Karim. He's got evasive and ship upkeep. He's just flat out better, and he's level two, and he's younger. We're not at our, our leader limit. It's pretty good. I mean, aside from the, the the difference in stars, he's he's actually, I would say, with the evasion and ship upkeep, he's probably the best pilot we have. No, I just said, okay, moving and arriving in some days. Change, 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 change. I'm confused because I told it to be somebody else. He just like refuses to give up. 
He says, no. No, I want to be in charge forever. It says right here, right click to unassigned leader. I'm doing that and it's not letting him get unassigned. Let's try um, splitting the fleet. Recombining the fleet. Research complete. Okay, you know what it might be, is it might be that Admiral Aardvark it just says that he's... What the hell's going on? He's not even, he's just, he's just available. And yet he's not doing anything. We also have an available governor, which is kind of stupid. Um... All right, you know what, Admiral Artvark, I'm just gonna, you're just dismissed. You're just, you're dead. Now Malik is in charge, okay? Gosh darn it. And it says that he's only got 1k power, but he's actually got 1633, so it's rounding down to the nearest thousand. Which seems pretty severe, as far as a round down goes. Colony established. When you say colony, you're talking about the actual colony colony. Alright, let's just expand New Jerusalem. New Jerusalem is now freaking massive. And uh, I think we'll do a very good job upgrading stuff for us. Meanwhile, in Earth, in the spaceport, we can build stuff. Ah, okay, so here's where we use the air end ghost refinery. Energy weapon damage. We don't use those. And Teldar ammunition. Kinetic weapon damage. We don't use that either. Well, crap. Oh, that's any good to me. The observatory, though, in Earth would be great for the extra science output, so let's build that thing. And then after that, let's build up some more... Destroyers. Build some destroyers. Why not? Good news is that the resources are coming in really quick now. I mean, our profit is pretty high. Our science is coming in pretty well. And I feel like if I wanted to attack a neighbor, that we would be very, very easily able to win. Like, how about the, the Zithorian, these guys? Their army is pathetic compared to ours. They have a trade deal. We could just declare a war on them. We could just vassalize them. Okay, so the Otharian Coalition is guaranteeing their independence. Okay, so if I declare war on you, I've got to fight both. The Otharian Coalition 
is superior. So we can't attack them. What about you guys? About equivalent. You guys are about equivalent. Up here. Overwhelmingly strong. I think that was one of the fallen empires. What about this fella? Equivalent. Okay, so we need to beef up our military and then just take on the Authority Coalition and these guys at the same time. Just kill them both. So let's, uh, let's divert pretty much all resources. We won't feed anything. We won't do any colonization whatsoever. And, uh... We definitely want to focus, I think, on getting as much of a military up and running as possible. So, let's go back to Earth. I know we're building the Pittsburgh class, but the Corvettes are still very good too. So yeah, alright, I'm going to take a break here, but I will see you again in the next episode. Thank you as always for watching, I'll see you again soon.